What up, it's Melvin7 here, and today, I don't know if EA have anything, but if they do, let's have a look. Hopefully they do, because yesterday it was just one thing. Oh, shit, that looks like a good card. Four star, four star, medium, medium. That card design is sick. Wow, wow, not one stat is under 80. This card is pretty ridiculous for a first um, first week. A first week card, three segments though, so I'm guessing it's gonna be expensive. In terms of the face card stats, good uh, pace, outstanding shooting, passing is very, very good. Uh, in terms of the key areas anyway. Dribbling, the agility is pretty decent. Reactions, ball control, brilliant. 99 composure, which is outstanding. The stamina is pretty good as well. But what does it require? So it requires an 84, an 84, and an 85. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that would cost roughly around about 125k given that an 84 is roughly about 30 to 40k uh, so times that by two we'll say 75 there and i imagine a, an 85 is somewhere close to 50k so i don't know premium mixed players pack uh gold players pack and a premium electron players pack again it comes down to what your team is like if you're rocking um the you know a bundesliga themed team or even that uh, trio of Schultz, Witzel, and oh, I can't remember the centre back now. It's not Kanji, I don't think it's someone else. But yeah, if he fits into your team, fair enough. But I wouldn't do this if you're only doing it for the fear of missing out. Um, that's a huge thing, I reckon, this year that a, a lot of people hopefully won't get caught in the trap like I did last year and the year before of just literally doing things because you're like, oh, what's the next um, objective to come out? Will I need this card? Uh, you know, it'll look good. And then you try and fit it into your squad and you realize, oh crap, I can't really fit them in with all these other players. So personally, I w it's a stunningly good card. Of course it is. It's brilliant, especially for this stage of FIFA. The card design is phenomenal. Um, but there's going to be many of these players, so just be careful what you do. Uh, genuinely, just use some common sense. If he's just going to sit on your bench, don't do him. Absolutely pointless, because there's so many players you can have sat on the bench. I'm going to have a quick look at uh, Footbin just to see what um, ratings, uh, like what his stats have went up by, sorry. Um, so if we do that, go on to players and we look at Vitzel. Uh, I think he's had a two upgrade on his overall, isn't he? An 84 base card. Vitzel, there we go, Axel Vitzel. Right, so in terms of his base stats, he's went up by <laughs> 19 pace, which is the big, big change. Six dribbling, 10 shooting, which is huge. Eight, f wait, what? Oh, oh. Oh wow, I've just realized the purpose of these <laughs> flashback cards. Earn a flashback Axel Witzel celebrating the early stages of his career as an attacking minded midfielder. Okay, okay, because I was gonna say his defending and his physical are better on the other card. Although I still would recommend, unless you're running a Bundesliga team, don't do this card purely because the price at the minute is like 120K. What I will say is this opens so much po possibilities for flashback cards in general. You know, th this card is practically the reverse of what his normal card is. Like, he's got outstanding pace, shooting, his passing's five better than his other card, uh, he's got six more dribbling, but his defending is eight less, and his physical is six less. So I like this, I like the concept. I just think 284s and an 85 is a little excessive. Uh, excessive, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look, actually. I want to see how much the, the Calvert-Lewin SBC is. Because basically, if I can um, get the price of an 84, an 85 squad, and then obviously another 84 squad, then we can we can see how much it is. And I can give my final verdict on it, I suppose. So, where are we looking at? Um, hmm, why is it not there? There we go. Dol Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Right, let's have a look at this. So... An 85 rated score, sorry, an 84 rated score is about 40k. So you're looking at 80k for the 284s, maybe slightly less because 
The Calvert-Lewin one, I think, requires a team of the week, whereas these ones don't. So we'll, we'll reduce that to my initial guess of 75,000. Now, an 85-rated squad, which I believe was this one on the Ansu Fadi, it was, is currently around about 70k. This is Xbox, but to be honest, the prices aren't too different uh, from PlayStation. So yeah, it's roughly coming in at about 145k, possibly about 125, which is ultimately what I said. So... It comes down to whether you're going to use him for a long period of time. If you're just going to use him for a week or two, trying to fit him into a squad, and then you know he's just going to sit on the reserves, on the bench in a couple of weeks, don't waste the coins, is my honest opinion. I think the price is an L, like Ansu Fati. The card, though, is a big dub, and the actual concept of the flashbacks is a huge, huge dub. And in terms of hashtag United Kit, I just... I'm never going to do an SBC kit. It's just pointless. Like a 76 rated squad, that's that's probably 5k. I know it, it's not too bad. The chemistry, maybe even 4k, but you can get earnable kits and earnable things just through playing the game. And just nah, I, I I've never been a fan of um, kit SBCs. To be honest, I think I've only ever done like four of them, and I kind of regretted all of them anyway because I changed the kits after. So in my opinion, even though it's extremely cheap. Any kit SBC, unless it's submitting one bronze card, is an L for me, in my opinion. I don't know what you think, but yeah. Axel Witzel, the card, big win. Price, big L. And again, if you're only going to use him to try and work him into a squad or because of the fear of missing out, I wouldn't do him. If you're rocking a Bundesliga team and you think you need a calm or a centre mid, why not? Why not? Although you could just get Goretzka, could just get Royce. You know, you just got to be careful with your coins and don't get sucked into the trap of the fear of missing out. But flashback cards, I'm excited to see what they do with these. I really am. I just hope that they reduce the prices for some of these SBCs in the future.